Good afternoon, dear colleagues. Uh, thank you, Chairman, for kind uh, introduction. Uh, and I want to make a brief uh, report about our current results uh, concerning damage pollution uh, under the inside of a tick. Oh, thank you. With surface active liquid content. Uh, as you know, therefore, <coughs> uh, if you uh, want to get with your uh, the liquid mercury in aircraft, it will be very strongly forbidden. But why? The first reason of that is, of course, uh, the vapor of mercury is uh, poisonous. But the second reason is a so-called uh, repeater effect or uh, metal repeater effect. What it means? It means that uh, supertank can uh, can qualitative and, and uh, change, change the energy of surface and make a damage yearly than if it was without any surface time. And we want to analyze that situation concerning to the cycle fatigue and uh, uh, make uh, some uh, little steps to analyze the fundamental uh, mechanism of that origin. Uh, I think in this, uh, in this uh, conference you uh, many times seen that, that picture and uh, I only say that we are working in this, in this region uh, between uh, high cycle fatigue and very high cycle fatigue. And uh, about mechanism of crack initiation already was told by uh, Professor Sakai. And uh, it, it's uh, from surface, it's uh, by accumulation of uh, sleep bands. And uh, about internal, internal crack, it's um, optical dark area by hydrogen. I talking about Morgani and all. And uh, formation of the frame by area by Professor Sakai was told. That, and what happens if we uh, get the liquid metal? The, in 1928, the professor Rabinder in Soviet Union found that uh, in some crystals uh, with aqueous solution was uh, uh, was big deformation with uh, slow uh, stress with low stress. And he explained that uh, the liquid, the molecules of liquid uh, material, replace uh, the uh, replace by the molecules solid and uh, solid connections, and energy of uh, surface energy going down, and the uh, damage uh, going faster. This uh, model names decagation metal, and uh, uh, after was proposed some another models, uh, which uh, consist to uh, dislocation emissions uh, when the, uh, the absorption uh, of a liquid metal uh, make uh, make easily to. Emission and it's going to uh, inside a material, and the diffusion of solid material into liquid material. Okay, what uh, uh, what we do? We make a test of uh, in this machine, which about talking in that conference several times, and uh, we we saw these pictures the maximum stresses in the center of the specimen and uh, that uh, center of specimen was uh, polished uh, devoided de de by uh, alcohol and uh, was covered by a thin layer of liquid uh, gallium indium alloy and what happens if we can see uh, the SN curve in air uh, we can found that in uh, stress level 160 megapascal, we have uh, like uh, 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 level which uh, uh, fatigue damage was in 90, uh, one in, in nine power cycles. But when we put uh, 
couple of uh, gallium, the fatigue the damage was in 1.6 power, 1 in power 6 uh, cycles, uh, the damage. And uh, uh, the fatigue curve turns uh, very, very uh, fatigue life is very reduced. Okay, but what happens if we will test that uh, material in another uh, frequency, in 20 gigahertz? We can see that uh, the fatigue life is reducing much uh, higher in uh, several uh, cycles than by uh, 10, uh, 5 power. What happens? Uh, when we uh, see on the surface, uh, fracture surface, we can see that gallium in uh, the side region, in, in a 20 kilohertz frequency, gallium uh, uh, goes uh, to crack origin. And uh, then crack goes uh, like in Paris region without any any kind of. But if we look on 20 gigahertz uh, frequency, you can see the gallium covers all uh, fracture surface. And uh, we can see that uh, here, like uh, going to the grain boundaries, it's very fast uh, propagation of crack. Oh, it's the same picture, we can see the crack origin and it's fast propagation. Okay, what, what can be, uh, how we can explain that mechanism? Uh, let's introduce uh, interaction constant, yeah? and this parameter, if it has it is large parameter, which uh, uh, depends on chemical potential of solid body and the liquid material, if it's large, uh, of environment, if large, so, uh, then surface can be a thing for the defects and uh, nothing going uh, like conventional. But if n goes to no, if uh, the surface uh, uh, works the chemical potential of liquid uh, material and the solid material is very close, that the thing is lost and the uh, kinetic of the extraction change and the uh, uh, damage realized in the shorter time. So, as I can conclude, uh, if we put a uh, liquid metal in, in uh, our uh, iron, the fatigue life reduced very, very rapidly and the property of surface to act as a sink for high pilot defects significantly reduced. And this change mechanism, formation of a T-class uh, in the same load stresses, uh, we, we can see that uh, damage goes to the surface from the bottom of the material in the same stress. Thank you for attention.